January 1st, 2024, the day this video is uploaded and the beginning of the best year of Ashes of Creation's development since its launch way back in 2016. Which is really saying something going up against last year where we have seen more progress with development than it seems we have the entirety of this project's life. Hiring has been ramping up, combat's looking good, systems are being showcased, so what is going to make 2024 better than that? Alpha 2 is the obvious answer. The first real look at what Ashes of Creation is meant to be starts up at some point in quarter 3 of 2024, aka July, August, or September. And with this comes a persistent testing environment for Intrepid to really nail down all of those features that they want to make the world of Vera. Obviously it's alpha, there will be downtime, there will be character wipes, and there will be bugs in focused testing. You won't have the entire game open up to you because Intrepid wants true and honest feedback for what they are going to let the alpha testers try out. And while A2 is going to be absolutely peak content wise, there are at least 6 months leading up to alpha 2 that will really set the stage for what we're going to see. And we really already know what a lot of these will be. If Steven sticks to what he plans to show us before alpha 2, we just don't know the exact months these things are going to line up in. But we do know that kicking off this month, we will see PvP. Steven teased this last stream that we will in fact be seeing some player versus player action centered around caravans in the January stream, which will be the first time Intrepid has shown us any form of PvP since Alpha 1. With this, I expect to learn more about the potential changes Intrepid may have made to the corruption system, a bit of objective-based gameplay surrounding the caravans, and hopefully some of the benefits of flagging for PvP to take on various events. Steven also said we'll see some changes to the mage visual effects in this showcase as well, which had a lot of praise and a lot of of hate in that archetype showcase, still being too blinding at times and really being over the top with some of the effects. But this stream needs to be more than just one group of okay skilled players versus another. PvP is fun to watch when people really know what they're doing, and know how to survive within various situations. If we are going to watch one group slaughter another, well we might as well just be watching them take on trash mobs. And while I am very excited to see some of the PvP side of things this month, that is going to be just the beginning for 2024. Because beyond that, Steven has talked about in the past what other features they plan to showcase, presumably before Alpha 2 starts. And with this is two more node showcases, which if you watched the last one, we saw some of the functions of a stage 3 node, and more along what the mayor of a node can do, which is not even scratching the surface of what nodes have to offer. Especially when it comes to things like social organizations, node types, node superpowers, religions, artifacts, player housing, and all of that fun stuff tied into nodes. On top of node sieges, we have also been told we will see the bard and the rogue in the beginning of Alpha 2, which should mean we see those two archetypes showcase in the coming months, and perhaps the fighter as well. They also stated that we will be getting an updated character creator stream they said was going to be happening a few months back, which I imagine will give us a new look at some of the updated customization and races Intrepid has been working on over the last two years since we last saw the character creator. Yes, it has been almost two years since we saw it. I'm honestly hoping that this character creator stream is something that's closer to Alpha 2 and something that they drop the character creator for Alpha 2 testers around the time of this stream. It'd be a really cool way to do it and we know that's something that they plan on doing before Alpha 2 actually launches is getting the character creator in our hands so we can test it and mess around with it and make some characters. In the Freehold stream it was said that we would see guild halls in a future showcase which would be a very interesting stream to see as we've really heard minimal on up to date guild information. Nothing really talking about how they function Function, what benefits they provide. There is a lot of info on the wiki with these, but a lot of the older wiki information is starting to be a bit out of date as we get these newer updates with these features and as things evolve through game development, which tends to happen. Like nothing's going to stay exactly the same through the entire length of game development. And then we can also expect to see more artisanship showcase in the future as well. So with all of that, including the January PvP streams, there are already nine streams mapped out, which would take us to the end of quarter three. Unfortunately though, just because all of these showcases were mentioned doesn't mean that they will actually happen. As I said, things change in development, and we all know Steven has a tendency of getting a bit too excited about this project at times, giving us updates that don't exactly come through. And there is the possibility that some of these things we will see more of after Alpha 2 has officially started. Although I expect to see the live streams transition back into their less hyped, more concept art stage at that point, as Ashes of Creation will be out for everybody to see, and it would 
would be much more interesting to focus on things that aren't in Alpha 2 yet and things that they're working on bringing into Alpha 2. But regardless, 2024 is shaping up to be a massive year for Intrepid Studios in Ashes of Creation. And with all of these features in Alpha 2 coming, I can say for certain this will be the biggest year yet for the game's development.